everyone, welcome to MDLR Fishing. It is September 1st and that means we've got to renew our fishing license. We're on our way over to the Parks and Wildlife Law Enforcement Office to do that and then we're also going to pick up our guide license. For those of you that did not know, if you're a 50% disabled or higher veteran from the armed services, you could possibly qualify for a free hunting and fishing license, so that's something that you might want to look into. And uh, once we take care of this, we'll get out there on the water. There we go. That's the beauty of this kayak right here putting it on autopilot so I can do a, uh, a quick update the area that we're going to it's a bridge that connects the mainland to Galveston Island it's known as the causeway and right inside the center of that bridge is the channel that the intercoastal a lot of the barges go through and some of the boats that are going back and forth to uh, go from west bay on over into east bay and transport the cargo all the way up into the houston ship channel that area is known to have some very strong currents uh, i experienced it firsthand whenever a person jumped off of the actual causeway and uh, ended up saving that person's life um, they weren't in the right state of mind but uh, yeah experiencing it firsthand in a pedal kayak it was so hard to be able to actually keep up with the current and make it safely over to the pilings so that we could lift the person out of the water. I say we because there was two other kayakers out there with me and uh, if it wasn't for them, we probably would have gotten washed out. But it stayed calm and kept the person afloat. But yeah, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's a very dangerous area at nighttime if you don't know what you're doing. A lot of the videos glorify it because it's really easy to catch speckled trout if the lights are on and they're doing their thing. So hopefully we get out there and uh, we're going to find plenty of lights to fish. That's going to make our job easy to get a quick limit of trout. There. Oh no. Okay. There's a bunch of small guys so far pecking my line. That was the first time that something actually committed to the entire lure. It gave me a little bit of tension, but then relinquished. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was doing this little schooly trout right here. Yeah, I'm going to put you right back, buddy. Alright, come on, let it go. There we are. These guys are fattening up. Easy to come out here and get a good meal because these lights attract all that bait. We've been getting tagged a lot. It's just been a very small bite though. Like a tap, tap, tap. And if you try to set the hook, there, <laughs> there's nobody home. So you almost wanna just wait till you feel that tension before setting the hook. Otherwise you'd be setting the hook all night long. Okay, this guy's got a little bit more weight, but then he just gave up all at the very last minute. Yeah, same size. Cookie cutter. Thank you, buddy. You can tell whenever they're starting to move in because the first light that we were at, it's cast, cast, cast. No action whatsoever. This one right here, you cast and it's immediate tension. 
There we are. Nope, you let it go. Yeah, these are the little guys. Got the B squad right now. So one of the things that you want to make sure, like if you do come out here and fish this area, you just got to be careful with uh, letting your lure go all the way down towards the bottom. There are so many snags that you're not going to get anything back and don't even think about anchoring down here. This guy might be a keeper. I'll hold him into the light here in a second. Yeah, that's most definitely a keeper right there. 15 and a quarter. So uh, let's take care of this guy and at least we got some lunch in the boat now. These currents are really like ripping through right now, y'all. Cast over here, son. They're like biting on this side. Okay. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I know. I know Elias said that it doesn't do good under bridges. Good job, son. y'all there's another keeper right there these guys when they hit it's with such great force that you'd almost think that it's something twice its size, but the current is so strong right now. It's ripping through. It's downright sketchy. I don't feel comfortable, but Christian just really caught something that I think y'all would want to see. So be sure to go over to his channel if you're not already subscribed. Go check out what he just reeled in from these pilings right here. Right next to the main channel on the intercoastal end. Yeah, you got to come out into the sloppy stuff, and this current is really, <laughs> it's really moving. It's got me all goose bumped up. Here we go. It's back-to-back -back cast right there. This one looks like he's gonna make the cut, though. No, that is 15 on the money. We'll see you later. Had a barge just go right through the intercoastal, y'all, from behind us, and, and we had to get away from that piling that is butt up against it because we're not able to see that good being that there's not a lot enough light to <coughs> let us see how big the swells are that that barge is pushing through it's just better to play it safe and get away from the piling and then we'll go right back into it there we are first cast right after the barge let me hit my spot lock I got a little croaker chill out no 
nice little 14 incher see you later shoot man it is tough that's one thing to do it at night time it's another thing to do it at night time and very rough swells Here we go. First cast with the new shrimp. It's going to get down there a lot faster. We should be able to keep solid tension on our line too. So as soon as they bite, we're going to feel it immediately instead of having like a, a really quick delay. There we go. Yeah, we're getting tagged just like that right there. This guy is running. It got down there. to do is just get down there here we are come to the top no stay away from my motor what is is that a ladyfish you that is a ladyfish that is a big ladyfish too you turd dude Get over here. Is this a I got a massive ladyfish on. You got one? Yeah. This thing is huge. You have got to be kidding me. Look at this massive, huge ladyfish. Goodness gracious. It's bow hook too. Yeah, that's what you get, girl. That's what you get. Fooling me. Holy moly, man. All right, well, let's get a good hold of her. Holy cow. Chill out. Chick, stop flinging that snot of yours. Just give me my lure and we can part ways. Man. Y'all do not know how much I was hoping that that was going to be a speckled trout. Big old huge ladyfish. So long, shark bait. Y'all, <laughs> I really thought that we were going to have a world-class trout on our line, especially with the way it was just pulling and it ran. I just caught a 25 and three-quarter incher and it was reminiscent of that. Y'all, I know you cannot see it, but trust me when I say that these swells are insane. It's, I mean, it's not the swells, it's the water chop. And with it comes some swells. We have high winds out of the northeast. And so it's unimpeded until it hits the railroad bridge, which by the way, there's a train going across right now. All right, so right here, I'm gonna stop. We'll just fish this really fast. Let's see if there's any fish. Oh yeah, we got one already first cast he's a little buck he might be a keeper I don't know bro chill out dude like oh my gosh yeah I don't know maybe 14 I gotta watch the the pilings huh I got a fish no, it's small. All right, let's turn our motor back on and head right back over there. I'm done, son. All right, y'all. Uh, let's just go ahead and retreat from this because I figured the closer we got towards land, 
and out from the middle of this bridge the swells would have calmed down but they have only like gotten worse maybe it's just because of the land and it, it's shallower over here so you know how the the whole thing with the beach the water is nothing but swells until it starts to crest because of the sandbars and stuff like that the the land that's underneath yeah i don't know what i'm trying to say but what i do know is that i'm just trying to get the heck out of here i got to get away from this stuff we got to get to some smoother water we we'll hit a couple of lights over at the island and uh after that we're just gonna call it a night we got a good bag so far a nice one <laughs> 